still got that nasty, bitter taste in my mouth, so I gotta find some food. Mm. It's like a little shopping. <laughs> I would eat you. Yes, I would. City, or technically, I guess it's Panel City Beach right now. I'm at the bay. Don't really have much of a plan other than to get out there, that's what it's all about. But I don't know where I'm going to park. I have a general idea of where I'm going to go, a couple different places of where I can camp tonight on the paddleboard. And here's my first place where I'm going to try and see if I can get permission to park. Like I told you all, one of my the last live stream, sometimes you just have to ask. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go in and ask different places hey, can I park here? For a night, I've got just a single vehicle, no trailer, no nothing. Just going on a kayaking trip. Can I park? Let's go see. Let's go find out. Okay, this place isn't gonna work. Worth a try though. See, that wasn't hard just to ask. <sighs> That's okay. This is my first pick. I've got like two other spots to pick or to try for this area that I wanna go paddling in. Surely something will, something will come through. Just gotta hustle a little bit. <laughs> we'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. If you don't know already, I'm pretty strict about my diet. So I walk in here to Walgreens to use the bathroom. I'm thinking, okay, how about a snack? So I'm just looking around comparing things. I get like a Quest Bar for $2.99. Okay, Quest Bar, complete cookie for $2.29. Okay, pretty good. And my eyes wander over here. <laughs> For $2.99, I can also get a pint or whatever of drumstick ice cream. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cheat, have a little fun, go with the ice cream for breakfast. Let's do it. Let's get it. Got it. Ah, unlock the truck trip. Gotta find my spork. I'm not really sure where it's at. I think, yes. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, cookies and ice cream is my weakness. This is drumstick. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Got some something crunchy in it. Mm. Alright, camera's probably about to fall. Oops. Told ya. Oh, yeah. Alright, maybe this will give us good luck to find somewhere to park. Well, that fell through my original area where I wanted to park and the original area where I wanted to go paddling way out there. Darn. But that's okay. I had a secondary plan somewhere that I know I can park, somewhere that I've suggested other people park at times. So that's where I'm headed. We can still make a good, good trip back across the bridge, back to Panama City. 
plan B is actually an area that I'm pretty familiar with. Spent a lot of time right here in a little marina. This is the city marina in Panama City, Florida. I used to have a boat actually docked here for three or four years or so. It was docked right here in this corner where this boat sits. Had a Watkins 29 sailboat. Spent a lot of many days, many weekends in the summer, like almost every weekend during the summer. I'd be down here on the boat, going out, sailing around the bay. So that's how I know this area so well. This is pretty sweet, this huge sundial. Let's see, what time is it? 11.45? Yeah, well it's 11.45 on my watch, so it looks like about 11.45. Pretty awesome. From here you can actually see where I'm gonna be going. There's a, marine, or there's a boat ramp right over this way. I'm gonna put in and you can park overnight for free without getting towed, which is, you know, sometimes tricky to find as we've learned today. And then I'm just gonna paddle out right up here along this little shoreline, just uh, camp somewhere up in there. Yeah, there's not much up there. I looked on Google Maps, so you can kind of see what's inland and be sure there's nothing there uh, major of why you shouldn't camp there. So I put the old Kaku Kahuna in the water, loaded her up, Pretty simple and easy process altogether. And you know, preparing for a trip is sometimes one of the most enjoyable parts of the process. You know you're about to get out there. She's ready. If you want to see how I load my paddleboard up for a camping trip, there's a video on that. There'll be a link below. Check it out, it's pretty simple. Okay, it's 12.42, finally time to go. I've really taken my time. That's okay, I'm in no rush. I've only got like two miles to go. Somewhere in that range, wherever I pick. You know, I don't really have a, a great plan for this trip. There wasn't much planning involved, just kind of off the cuff. Sometimes those are the most enjoyable. Just a simple trip. Just to spend time out there. Yeah. Those are often the best ones. Last time I put it here, I was on my 17 foot sailboat. Snapshot back to that. Alright, everybody, it's Friday, April 27th. I just put the Montgomery 17 in for an overnight trip in Panama City at the City Marina. We got the kayak in tow and we're headed out. Yep, that was a good time. I really missed the old sailboat, but you know, I still get out there just in different ways. Hey, that's what matters. in the lower 70s to the lowest in the lower 60s the next couple days so that's really nice the water feels i don't know 70 ish it's not like crazy cold or anything so i think we picked a pretty good time a little choppy right now but that's okay oh. when i say a little choppy i mean like it's like a little choppy <laughs> But I'm gonna battle for it, so you know, a little chop is a piece of chop. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I lied. Maybe it's like a little choppy. <laughs> Just a little choppy. This adds to the adventure. Now we've rounded this point here. This is called Redfish Point. We just came from the city marina right over there. And as we come around the point, the winds come from this way. The the land is blocking the waves because you know, what actually makes waves is the wind. You know, if you have a long distance of water for the wind to come across, that's called fetch. So if you have a lot of fetch, that's gonna create a lot of waves. So here, we still have some wind here, but there's not much waves because there's no fetch because there's wind, there's land right there. So there's not a lot of distance for the, the waves to build up. So 
this little something interesting for you guys. So if you're ever trying to stay out of the wind or stay out of the waves, you can get behind an island on the downwind side of land or the upwind shore. If you paddle against the upwind shore, you'll have less waves. Just something I learned from some sailors <laughs> back when I was sailing. Just paddle along nice and easy and trying to look down here and hopefully find some of my favorite things to eat out of the ocean and that's crabs. It seems like I remember that springtime or maybe it's still winter, I don't know what it is right now. They're not that active, so probably not gonna see any, whatever. I've got my net just in case and I've got my cast net just in case to see whatever. Didn't bring a fishing pole because, well, you guys know me. Right there, there's some steps leading up the bank or whatever, and a little roof, a little, little pole barn type deal. Didn't see that on Google Maps. Let's go see what it is. I do have to be kind of careful. I'm pretty sure the tide is coming in right now, so my board's just barely beached. If the tide comes in, the water rages, it's gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be gone. I'm not going for it. could use this off. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Maybe this isn't quite as remote as I thought it was. And poof, there it goes. For some reason, had some technical issues and my audio quit. But I'm, you know, basically saying that I'm very cool and I'm exploring this area. Uh, don't really know what it is. Then I come up on this cool little well. And I've always been intrigued by these. but never got to pump one before. So I said, okay, I'm going to sit here and pump it. Let's get some water going. So I start pumping and pumping and it just starts making all kinds of racket. Just metal grinding against metal. And no water. No water. Still no water. So apparently this pump is out of service. So whatever. <laughs> but then I look over here and I find this pole with this little rope pulley type system on it. And I'm thinking, what is this? Oh wait, I think I might know what it is. I think it's somewhere where you hang your food up. Like out of bear's reach. Like a, like a bear bag hang. But I didn't really think there were bears in this area. But uh, I've got something else to think about. <laughs> Well, the venture must go on, which it certainly does. And this is a beautiful, beautiful area for it. What a great time of the year. Then the audio starts back. Who knows why? <laughs> Not me. trio chair this trip but the good lord smiling down on me
go have a look at the trees, the underbrush, see what that situation looks like. It looks pretty good, it's kind of thick, but I'm just going to walk down the shoreline and just pick the best spot. You're kidding me. That thing, I think, is good. Well, we're gonna try it <laughs> in a little bit. Whew. It's actually pretty bad now. But, I'm just coming up here, and I spotted some deer tracks. This is pretty cool. Right here on the shore. There's a lot of briars I'm stepping on. They kind of hurt. All right, where's some good trees at? <laughs> oh, here's something interesting. What is this basket? It's got a rope on it. Oh, it's danger. Okay, it doesn't have a bottom. Oh, it's got a rope tied to it. has this funky lid <clears throat> with a little something or another. Some sort of trap, apparently. Oh! Okie dokie. Oh, another yummy wild orange. It's probably like old as dirt. That's why they're nasty. And deals. Good news! We just spotted a crab, but it's a small one. I mean, it's a blue crab. But it's a small blue crab. Not big enough to eat. Hello there, big boy. Little boy. Little rascal. I'm gonna get you if you were bigger, and I would eat you. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Tell him I'm looking for him. Tell him. <laughs> I really want some crabs. All right, so now I'm gonna go really focus on finding camp. Then I'm gonna go crab hunting. Crab hunting. Yeah, let's do it. We still got plenty of daylight left. Let's go. I'm gonna go hunting tonight, boys, but I ain't taking no gun. Who knows that song? Let me know. You'll be my favorite. I right, still got that nasty, bitter taste in my mouth, so I gotta find some food. Where's my food? It's up here. This is where the food is. I gotta get something to get this. It's been like 20 minutes. I have to walk around with that taste in my mouth. Oh, where's the food? Oh, yeah. What's it gonna be? I got an idea. Okay. I've got some cheese. This is given to me by Dutch from Dutchware. It's Oatmeal's Honey Habanero Cheese Bites. He said he didn't like them. He was like, take some. I was like, okay. Oh, this is what they taste like. Oh. So you open it up, and it's in another bag. A bag inside a bag. Okie dokie. Well, it wasn't bad. Smells, smells alright. Hmm. It's like dehydrated cheese. Dehydrated cheese. It's like a cheese cracker. Cool! Thanks, Dutch. It's pretty good. Definitely gets a taste out of my mouth. Alright, we're gonna find camp. We have to hurry. We're gonna move down the beach. A little ways to get to where we want to camp. <laughs> it's not far, it's like right there somewhere.
basically, I'm just trying to keep the sand out of my shoes here. Does it really work? Eh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> whatever. I try. Not too horrible, just briars everywhere. It looks pretty good in here. I came just a little bit further up into the woods. I saw a little hill. So I'm up on top of this little hill and I can see out across the water. Pretty cool, still fairly close. But it opened up in really well in here. It's not all a bunch of briars and nonsense that I've got to worry about getting scratched up. So I think I'm going to make camp up in here. Got a little breeze up here, so this is nice. Pretty good view. Not too bad. I like being closer to the water, but this is fine. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I can make a good camp here. I forgot I had taken my whoopee sling, my suspension off my hammock to make the how to make a hammock video. So I've got to put it back real quick. And my ridge line apparently. It's okay. I'll just start this shot over. Put it all back together, right? Woo! It feels kind of bouncy. That tree's a little small. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> it's a good spot. Ugh. I'm probably gonna wait to put my tarp up. It's not, it's not supposed to rain, and I typically wouldn't put it up, but it's gonna be foggy, or it was foggy this morning. So it's probably gonna be a heavy dew, so I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up or not. I do like just sleeping out in the open. I do know one thing I need to put up. Right over there. Damn. I see a sailboat. <coughs> I see a sailboat out there. That'd be fun right now. This is fun too. This is a heavy one. What just I just don't like my junk all over the ground. This is nice. The gear hanger. You'll probably see it before. 
but it's probably been a while. It's good to get her back out. I really do like that thing. Okay, I just sat and played guitar for way too long. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find some crabs. Let's do it. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know, I'm thinking it's a slim chance. But maybe with the sun going down, maybe the crabs get a little more active and coming in with the tide coming in. I don't know, I'm just hoping. Just hoping here, folks. Let's go see. Most of the time I'll bring like a mesh bag just for catching crabs in, but I didn't. So I'm gonna take this food bag and uh, use it. Not really sure where I'm going to put my food yet. Come on. But we'll find a spot. <laughs> I kind of want a snack too. We got cheese with jalapenos. Not much. I need to catch some crabs. I don't know if I brought enough food. Just not for breakfast. Alright, I'm going with the new Millennium. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. I'm going to catch some crabs. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Yeah, it's getting a little rusty. On the seduction line, she was one of a kind and just mine, all mine. You know what? Let's put that in my pocket. Looks like crabbing time out there. I hope we get some. Sun is going down. Probably ruining the camera lighting, but that's okay. Ooh, it's, sand's gotten a little chillier. Okay, it's not. Whoa, it's definitely not as warm as it once was. Okay, it's a little, yeah, it's a little colder. Oh my, it's all right. It'll be okay. We gotta find some crabs. They're out here somewhere, right? Surely. Just gonna sneak out a little way through the grass. Maybe there'll be some unsuspecting crabs out there. We'll get dipped up. Whatever. What is this? Where's my net gonna go? That's just gonna go in the water right there. What is that? It's not gonna jump up and grab me or nothing. That is a huge something. It's a massive shell of some sort. Clam. The silvery on the end. Oops. That's huge though. We'll keep looking. Interesting. Never seen one something that big here. Part of me just really likes to explore, just look around, see what all is washed up. It's kind of all a mystery. Oh wow, we got water flowing here. Oh, this is cool. You can kind of see the tide. You can kind of see the current where it's going around this little conch. And if we come up this way, you can really see the current flowing in. Yeah, I like seeing stuff like that. You know, that, that's pretty cool. Like, here's another little, like a little stream just going into this. I don't know, whatever. When the tide comes up, the water comes in. <laughs> this is really cool. I just like being out there, right? Out there. That's where I like being. Just out there. Out here. Just doing whatever. Nothing to do. Nothing I need to do. Just enjoy. Yes, I like this. At the twilight's last gleaming 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night or the ramparts we won were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular I hope you guys can hear that. That's the bass over there is playing taps and then the national anthem. Oh, say does that star go back. Here we go, baby. Oh, the land of free and the home of the brave. Cool! Dun, 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 dun. America, baby! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Right here at sunset, too. Look with the crabs. Didn't see any. But, so, just gonna go get my big camera and get ready to go live on Facebook with my cell phone. And maybe I can get a good, some good shots of this sunset with my good camera. We'll see. Alright, let's go. We gotta hurry, though. We're gonna light the live stream on my cell phone. Probably need to bring, I don't know, a big light too, my night filming light. We'll see. These briars are no fun. Ow! Gracious alive. See like right there? See that right there? That is no fun. Oh. Man. And then once you get out of them, you're kind of out of them. And I can kind of make my way up to my wonderful little camp here. That is beautiful. You can't see the water, but... Whoop. Whoop. Wait. It's out there, I promise. Right, I'm trying to hurry, but I'm really cutting it close on time. Do everything I want to do. Go live with you guys. And try to get a... Ah, some shots of the sunset, which it's getting kind of late. I'm going to miss it, but it's okay. I'm trying to hustle. Man, it's beautiful right now. All right, gotta go. Well, I was going to do some fancy time lapse for you guys for the sunset, but I've never done a time lapse on this camera before, so I don't know how to do it. And I couldn't figure it out, and the battery's almost dead. And the battery's back up at camp. I don't want to go live for you guys, so... There's the sunset. It's beautiful. I promise. All right, I'll turn the camera off so I can get some like last second shots. And of course, I missed the sunset. I'm fiddling with Facebook. It's messing up. Can't go live on the Facebook page. And I missed the sunset. It's gone. And I didn't even get to see it. <laughs> I'm sure it was beautiful. Maybe we'll see the sunrise. I doubt it. All right, it's time to cook. This is gonna be a mess. <laughs> All right, I've got some Nor Cajun sides, red rice and beans, and I've got just a bag of Tyson cooked chicken. <laughs> I was hanging out with you guys live and stuff, and all the sunrise and everything else just made me do this in the dark. And, by the way, I left my headlamp at home, and I left my multi-tool at home, and I left a extra mesh bag for the crabbing at home and something else forgot something else. I've been forgetting stuff I have a checklist I know I know I just forgive me all right so let's see if we can figure this out got my tokes 550 milliliter pot what is in there is it clean yes <sighs> sort of clean enough uh, we got to cook this rice the chicken is ready to go let's see here one tablespoon of margarine don't have that okay two cups of water Two cups. This is, I don't, that's, let's just say that's somewhere close to two cups. We're just gonna open the rice and just pour it in there. Whoa, that's a bunch of rice. We're gonna get some water out of here. That's probably blinding you. Water, light. It's uh, one cup, two cups. That'll work. All right, then we've got our alcohol stove. Find somewhere good and safe and stable to set it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I need a lighter. 
All right, pour some alcohol in there. Okay, it's right here. Light the alcohol stove. Aha. Okay, let it prime just a minute, or they call it priming. You're basically, I guess, just letting it heat up. I really don't know what that means. But if you put the pot on there immediately, it'll go out. That's all I know. And then you set the pot on there nice and slowly, hopefully without it falling. I just realized something. I've got a lot of rice in there, almost to the top. I've got a big bag of chicken. I'm not gonna be able to mix it all. <laughs> I know everybody's gonna say, Trip, you're gonna start a forest fire. Well, there's no wind. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna let that cook until the alcohol burns out. I'll let it sit for a little bit and add the chicken to, to it. You know what I did forget? I forgot my spork when I was eating the ice cream in the truck earlier. <laughs> oh, I sure did forget that. Well, this calls for a song. A sad song. What's a sad song? Wait, how does that song go? That's a... Uh, um, if it was a full, full moon, it would be a total eclipse. No, that's wrong. If it was a full moon, this thing is almost wet. Whatever. It's a camp guitar. If it was a sad song, it would be in a long walk. If it was a color, it would be deep, deep. That's wrong. All right, that's it. If it was a drink, it would be a strong one. If it was a sad Song. It would be a long one. If it was a color, it would be deep, deep, deep blue. But if we're talking about a heartache, it would be you. Hold on now, getting out of hand right here. If it was a full moon. It would be a total eclipse If it was a tidal wave It would sink, sink a thousand ships If it was a blizzard It would be a record-breaking cold If it was a lie It would be the biggest story, story you've ever heard If it was a drink It would be a strong if it was a sad song, it would be a long one. If it was a color, it would be deep, deep blue. But if we're talking about a heartache, it would be you. Well, I left my sport. Up today, I lift my headlamp so I won't be able to play on the beach tonight. No, I just can't go and chase those little crabs. Oh, how I love them so! The next time I plan a trip, I'm gonna pack all my stuff. It seems like always I get to pack some gear I don't always know what I'm doing out here But I'm out here Yeah, it's life out here There's adventure out here Yeah, I'm out here Yeah, you need to get Come on out here Subscriber 
trip It could be me and you We're all out here <laughs> Yeah, we're out here I like to bring my cameras out here And try to make this so clear to you I want you to enjoy it too Yeah, that's what I want you to do happens once you know we only get one chance you're gonna see it on the sideline or boy are you gonna dance you better get out here yeah life's out here it's all gonna pass you by and you're gonna be on your last year you better get out here don't miss it out here yeah, I hope my videos can inspire all y'all to get out here. Oh, it's out here. My pot of rice is finally boiling out here. But I'm going to let it sit there just another minute or two. Because I don't have a pot cozy to keep it from getting cool. So I'm gonna let it boil I wish I had a spork to eat with I'm gonna just have to Let it cool And sip it out of the cup And squeeze this chicken Right out of the bag like an old hag Hey, it don't matter Just as long as I'm out here Makes it all clear. Y'all know I just, that's crazy. <laughs> See, that's what I do. A lot of times I'll just sit here and I'll just come up with a song. And I like hanging out with folks and sitting just around the circle and just coming up with something crazy and silly. I did a little bit of that at Hank Con. <laughs> we had some fun. Oh, all right, she's a boiling. I wish I had something to stir it with. We just wasted so much battery. Where's a clean stick? It's probably freaking. Well, I'm out here. <laughs> That's what matters, huh? <laughs> With no spork. Darn it. Whatever. It actually smells really, really well. Really good. It does smell really good. All right, I'm turning, turning it off. That's long enough. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoy the show. How long was that? 18 minutes. My gosh. All right, the show's gone out. Let's see if we can stir some of this. No, we really can't. We kind of can. Mm. Well, no, the stove's still burning. Oh, it'd be so nice if I had a freaking spoon. <laughs> oh, it's didn't broke. All right, whatever. We're going to be done. All right, we'll just set it right there. Stick tastes good. Let's taste the chicken. Ooh, it actually tastes super good. All right, I'm gonna squirt and squeeze a little bit. Okay, it's not juicy, that's good. Here we go. There we go. I have to get me a thicker stick. All right, that'll work there. She's full to the brim, now we'll just eat this chicken. It's not very glamorous, folks. But we're out here. <laughs> Wait. I was supposed to be saying out there. We're out there. <laughs> well, I guess I was in the present, so it's out here. Jeez. I'm a nut. I got an idea. I've got an idea for a spoon. Okay? It just came to me. All right, look here. Oh, look, a spoon. No, the, no, that's not a good idea. Nick, I'm just going to drink it. Oh, I can't see the camera. Where's the camera? There it is. All right, I ended up changing clothes, put on a long sleeve shirt, some pants. Got my socks here ready. And in here I got my sleeping bag, just my, my down the 
AGS Max sleeping bag and then one of the uh, Bed Bath & Beyond little down throws. I've got that in here as well. So as it gets cooler tonight, actually it's, it's kind of cool now. But as it gets cold, I'll just get into those and I think I'll be okay without an underquilt. I left the underquilt behind because I wanted to save space and save bulk. And this right here, let's, let's see what's in here. My underquilt is a synthetic underquilt. So it doesn't compress near as well as down stuff does. Like here's my 32 degree sleeping bag, $70 sleeping bag. Check it out, link below. Great deal on a pretty darn good sleeping bag. Here's a bug net, which I probably won't need. It gets really small. My sleeping bag liner, and then my down throw. All this stuff put together is not much larger than my one under quilt. So uh, I think I'll be okay. The lows not supposed to get below 60 tonight, so I think I'll be all right in it. <clears throat> I ended up putting the tarp up because everything was just getting covered with dew already. I mean, the dew is falling heavy. There's just moisture all over everything, so you know, just put it up because it's the right thing to do. So that's what I did, and so now I'm just going to chill, relax, and hopefully get some good sleep. I don't think there's bear out here, but all my food trash is like it's right over there. It's not far, so if there's a bear and he smells it, he's going to be coming close. <laughs> we'll see. I, I think it'll be okay. And put everything up except the uh, sleeping bag liner and the actual sleeping bag. That's all I think I'll need. Now I'm just gonna sit back oh. and relax. Wow, oh, that's good. There's the camera right there. Good morning. Just a little after six. Gosh, I've been laying here just kind of waking up. Had a pretty good night. I had to go to the bathroom twice and then I woke up one time and had a deer come into camp. I didn't know it until I guess it kind of walked up on camp and then, then it noticed there was something here and it ran off and I heard it. I woke up and I heard it and it started blowing. So that's how I knew it was a deer. 6 a.m. It's foggy. I can't really see much out there right now. I was going to say, all right, I'm going to get up and get up and film a little time lapse of the sunrise but there's gonna be no sunrise this morning so I'm just gonna lay here for a little bit longer I did have to get the mosquito net out about 2 a.m. started getting a couple bites on my neck and my ear and my lip oh, I slept so good though I really did bet you that's all fogged up in here coming out of my sleeping bag liner and sleeping bag that's all I had to use last night everybody get out my extra down throw the tarp was a really good idea because I heard water dripping and stuff all night take my sleep socks off Look at the little filming. See what everything looks like early in the morning. Maybe there'll be some crabs down by the shore. We can have crabs for breakfast. I don't know. I would just, I really like crabs. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Get me foggy.
sits on. But. I'm trying to film this, but you can't see anything with this fogged up lens. It's just so humid. Everything's just so damp. I keep wiping and wiping and wiping, and the lens just won't come clean. Well, I came back and got my GoPro. I don't think it's fogging up quite as bad, but I did enjoy my two little chocolate shakes for breakfast out on the beach. The mosquitoes are still out, and the noceums are tearing me up out here on the beach. But I think I'm just going to take a stroll down the opposite way of the direction of the beach that I went yesterday and just see what all is washed up. Just relax, disconnect. That's what I like to do. See this? There were bugs around it when I walked up. That is a stingray tail, I betcha. Oh boy. Well, that's interesting. Seen one of those like that. I've been walking and hearing something behind me go. <laughs> There's some porpoises out there. You know I heard something. Not really sure if y'all could see that, but. Maybe you could. The GoPro is not really good at zooming. Thanks to you guys over on Patreon helping support the channel. Thank y'all so much. Like I've said in the past, even a dollar a month. Granted, most people sign up for more than that. Uh, wow, I'm super grateful. Maybe you get over there and you see the cool stuff going on so you see, you know, what's happening and you want to be more of a part of it. But I'm asking for as little as a dollar a month. If I can get more people at one dollar a month, twelve dollars a year, the price of lunch or, you know, whatever, it'd be greatly appreciated and help the channel do more of this and inspire more people to get out there. Go check out Patreon. Link below. <clears throat> I really don't enjoy plugging that. But, you know, that's what makes the channel grow. I would love to have a channel that is backed by its audience versus sponsors or companies or things like that. Wouldn't y'all? Yeah, that would be so much better. Let's do it. One dollar a month. One dollar, Bob. Just go there and check it out. See what it is. See what it is. It's only getting better over there. I'm doing more and more for the patrons. Hope y'all are enjoying it. It's 9-12, and 
had a little shower come through. Now the shower's passed and the fog is completely lifted. Blue skies abound. So I'm just gonna get up and kinda clean up the stuff. All my stuff's gotta dry though, but it's so humid, I'm gonna have to help it dry. Show you guys how I do that. You guys can see here, there's still quite a bit of moisture on my tarp. And I can sit here and hit it from the underside and try to get some water off, but it's still gonna take a while for it to dry. So, what I'm gonna do is, come right over here. Got this big old sponge that I use to bail out the kayak or the bottom of the, or the inside of the sup. Just gonna take it and just rub it across. That's gonna get up the bulk of the water so that now it'll dry a lot quicker. Get a little bit off. But it's mainly just making it thinner on the tarp so that it dries faster. What is for breakfast? Sardines? No. Millennium bar, I'd rather not. I think this is it. <laughs> I got pecani sauce. Nah. <laughs> Cheese with jalapenos. Okay, that'll work. A best ever bar. Looks like cookie dough or something. Yes, absolutely. Got that for Christmas. I love getting food as gifts. I got this for Christmas too. Some beef jerky. Both of these came from my mother-in-law. I love you know, like healthy snacks and stuff. So, do you guys have any favorite healthy snacks? I love to try stuff. Probably my favorite thing to get. If I could have a sponsor for the channel, it'd be a food sponsor. That's what I would love. A good, healthy food sponsor. Because I love to eat good. It just can be expensive. Alright, and I eat a lot. Oh. Alright, see this? Best ever bar. You can kind of see it. Oh, it smells divine. Mm. It's chewy, kind of. I wouldn't say it's the best ever, but it's definitely not bad. Cashews the number one ingredient. I like that. Yes, I read the ingredients of my food. The less ingredients, the better. Then you pick up an MRE cheese spread. The ingredients just go through the roof on these things. Somebody gave it to me, so I'm gonna eat it. And I really like it too. Cheese with jalapenos, I know I love this. Squeeze it out. This thing is fogging up again. Man. Switch cameras. Okay. It's 11.20 and I have gotten a lot accomplished today. I've, uh, let's see. I've, uh, no, actually I lied. I've done almost absolutely nothing all morning. A little bit of filming. I've just been laying around, strolling on the beach, hanging around camp, playing music, looking around, wandering around, doing nothing, but I've enjoyed it. See, you guys have heard me talk, talk about zero days. That's where you do nothing, like the whole day. Like if this is like a three day trip, it would be so much fun to just come here and just stay here all day and do almost next to nothing. Just wander around, just enjoying being out there. That's what it's about, I'm telling you guys. These are the best days. But unfortunately, I don't have three days. I'm gonna get back home today so uh the tarp is finally dry i had to wait around for it to dry uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so it only took it uh, about four hours to dry off <laughs> put my little washburn travel guitar back in its diy duct tape dry bag because they don't make a dry bag for a guitar so i had to make a dry bag for a guitar so i could bring it along with me on my adventures and I guess it works. Kind of. I had to repair it. The duct tape doesn't hold together very well at all. So, I mean, it's pretty good. The way you roll it and all, eh, eh. It's a little, it's a little sketchy. So we're putting the guitar up and we're breaking out the speaker. All right. Here we go. Set that right there. It's, it's, it's pretty tough. Let's clean up. One thing I like to do with my trash is I like to kind of keep it clean and neat. Uh, so I usually take it and I stuff it in water bottles. And in this case, these breakfast essentials. So let's see how much we can get in here. 
this is all my trash from yesterday in here. Alright, now let's consolidate this stuff. Fold it nicely. Fold it. Uh, so we can fold it again. Yeah, let's just go in with it. Okay. Oh yeah. off the top. Wrap her off the top because they always seem to fall off. Ta-da! All that trash. Okay, I'm breaking down and I'm eating the Millennium Bar. Tastes kind of like an orange creamsicle. Not bad. here folks got my hammock my tarp my suspension my bug net everything in this small little package that's what happens when you DIY your own gear or spend a lot of money on uh, purchasing gear this is a 1.1 ounce ripstop nylon hammock with a 1.1 ounce uh, steel nylon tarp and whoopee slings and tree steps as suspension and just some cheap bug net from Walmart links to all this stuff and also videos to all this stuff below. You can make your own hammock very easily and very, very cheaply. And look how small it gets. This is essential and it gets even smaller than that. You gotta pack small, I'm telling you. Here in the last year, one thing I've been trying to do is reduce how much I pack, how much I bring. That's a great way to start if you wanna do the same thing. Check out those videos. Learn how to make your own stuff. Or you can still buy it. That was pretty quick. All right, pretty much everything packed up. Time to stroll down to the sub with all the gear. Maybe uh, two trips. <laughs> we'll see. Well, definitely two trips, because I gotta come back and get the camera, so. We'll get the camera and the guitar last.
That's how easy it is. To get going. <laughs> She's okay down there. All right, gotta change camera positions. Now it's gonna be good. We got a downwind run pretty much all the way. <laughs> Straight where we're headed. So it's gonna be nice. So basically, I'm just gonna chill, pedal nice and easy, turn on some good tunes being out there. Do I say that a lot? I don't know how much I've said it on camera, but I've I've said it a lot to myself <laughs> if I haven't had the camera rolling. Oh it's kind of crazy. But that, that's why it's kind of grown to be the slogan of the channel. I got a beachy playlist on my Amazon Prime music. So let's see what we got here. What are we gonna get lucky with on the first song with Beachy? It could be something kind of gay, but we'll see. Shuffle. Hotel California. No, we gotta do better than that. I mean, it's a great song. We gotta do better than that. Nah, be Bobby McGee. Nope. Here we go. Yeah! The Eagles, baby! <laughs> See me. If this shot is ruined, GoPro, I'm not gonna be happy with you. Remember, I can't even do it anyway, it's on YouTube. It's makes me for someone special. Patrons or somebody. Adios. I'm about to do a live stream here, but I'd like to tie it up to a pole, but it's rough as crazy out here. So move around the point and hopefully we're there's less way to do a live stream. Like it's okay. Live stream for you guys. You guys like it live, right? They're here. white capping but that's okay we still make it work no problem that just adds to the adventure so it's not a little lull here but as soon as we cross the channel it's gonna get to pick up again so yeah, we're gonna make it happen Woo! kahuna's standing up to it just fine though Woo! Well, it looks like the trip's over but man it got pretty rough when i came across that little channel there it really did get pretty rough but unfortunately one of my batteries in my gopro are apparently bad or something because that battery didn't work when i tried to record coming across and but now i put a new battery in the gopro is good so whatever but got the kahuna loaded up Got to go back home to the family we got an hour and a half drive to the house not too awful but hey thanks for watching appreciate y'all coming along on the adventure take care of yourselves and God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next video or adventure. Thanks a lot for everything you do. Thanks for the comments, likes.
And of course, if this is your first video, something's wrong. You should subscribe. There's a lot of other videos you should catch up on. All right, folks. Take care. See y'all next time. Man, it was good. You guys can experience it too. All right, let's rock and roll. So easy to do a little trip like this. Really nothing to it. Just single night trip. I paddled less than two miles to get to my campsite. Had free parking. So simple. You can find this somewhere. Take care, folks. Have a good time.